Keith Haring was born on May 4, 1958, in Reading, Pennsylvania. He was young when he developed his love for drawing, learning from his father and influenced by Walt Disney and Dr. Seuss. After graduating high school in 1976, he enrolled in the Ivy School of Professional Art. However, he dropped out after only two semesters when he realised he wanted to express himself more freely. Later that year, he moved to New York and enrolled in the School of Visual Arts. Here he found a thriving alternative art community that was developing outside of the normal gallery and museum system. Art was to be found on the streets, in the subways, clubs and dance halls. Here he met other artists, musicians, performing artists and graffiti writers and he became swept up in the new and exciting energy and spirit of the scene and began to both organise and participate in exhibitions and performances at Club 57, amongst other venues. With influences such as William Burroughs, Jean Dufont, among others, he was able to push his own singular kind of design based on the primacy of the line. Here you can find examples of his UV artwork. He is renowned for his deceptively simple cartoon inspired icons and his images were symptomatic of the energy and spirit of the 1980s. Having combined ideas and techniques from graffiti and pop art, he made murals in public spaces. This allowed him to spread both artistic and political messages to multiple audiences. His work reflects his commitment to both social justice and activism, especially relating to the HIV and AIDS epidemic. This being a highly personal motivator, with it affecting his friends, as well as it taking his own life in 1990 to age-related complications at the age of 31. In 1989, realising he may have little time left, he established the Keith Haring Foundation, which continues to support HIV, AIDS charities and organisations to this day. As Keith lived and worked in the East Village, he had a large social circle which included people such as Madonna, Andy Warhol, whom he frequently worked with, and he also did collaborations with designers such as Vivian Westwood and Malcolm McLaren. His collaboration with Grace Jones for music performances saw him painting her entire body with graffiti.
Keith used catchy slogans to quickly and effectively make his point. One of his most famous is the Crack is Whack Muriel, which was in reference to the crack cocaine epidemic and its effects in New York City.